Hi, welcome back to educate2.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your laptop. I have here an HP i5 third generation. It's quite new. I only installed uh, application like um, Open Office as well as DaVinci Resolve to test out this laptop. See if the performance will increase by adding uh, an extra 4 gig RAM. So currently it's uh, only have 4 gig RAM. I'm going to add another 4 gig RAM to make it 8 gig RAM and see if that's going to make a difference. We're going to test the uh, boot up time and we'll see how it launches uh, different software like Open Office, like uh, Word uh, documents. Well, similar in terms of its uh, functionality because we're going to use a freeware like Open Office to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also open up. Uh, DaVinci Resolve and load up a 1080p uh, about 10 minute video and see how uh, it's able to uh, encode that and how fast it will take. Okay, so in addition to replacing the RAM, we're going to also replace the standard uh, hard drive, a 500 gig hard drive. That's I think uh, 5200 RPM to an SSD drive. This is a um, Western Digital. Um, 3D nano uh, blue type uh, SSD drive uh, and see how it goes and how fast it actually runs when we replace it with a uh, SSD drive. Okay, let's do that right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, turn on this laptop, the HP uh, i5 third generation laptop. This is a um, Elite Book 8470W. Okay, I'm going to turn it on when it has its default 4 gig RAM and 500 gig standard hard drive. See how fast um, it can boot up. I have a timer right here and what we're going to do is see how long it takes. So let's um, turn on the button and press start. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'm going to wait and see. So it's four seconds. Oh, not too bad. See when it goes to the startup menu, see how long it takes. Okay, so it took 30 seconds, not bad. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see, so that's 30 seconds. I'm going to reset that and I'm going to try to start open office. Oops, let me just reset that. Okay, ready, set, go. Did I do that? Oh, it's not doing that. Okay, hold on, give me a second here. Okay, do it again. I have to double click, I guess. Okay, there we go. Okay, open office. Okay, that took um, just to open the open office. That took nine second. Let's reset that. Then what I'm gonna do next. Um, I'm gonna try to open Word. Uh, well, it's called WordPress. Okay, it's an alternative to uh, Word. This is an open office. So let's do that. Let's see. Ready, set, go. Okay, that took seven seconds. Not bad at all. Acceptable. I mean, like for four gig RAM, 500 gig standard hard drive, that's not too bad. Okay, now let's try um, something like PowerPoint. It's I think it's called Impress or something from Open Office. So it's like PowerPoint. Let's see how long that takes. Reset that. Ready, set, go. Okay, that took about four seconds. And then just press next. There we go. It's not that bad. Okay, four seconds. It's quite fast. I'm, you know, if it's between like um, two, three, four seconds all the way to 10 seconds when it's, uh, you know, when you click on it, it's, it's actually not so bad. I mean, it may not be justifiable to upgrade the RAM if it's um, you know, 
if the, if the software itself only take when you load up only four or five seconds and then if you increase the RAM uh, to 8 gig and it's only going to increase a couple more seconds uh, less then I don't see the justification now here's the the um, uh, I guess in graphic intensive um, application which is DaVinci Resolve 12.3 that will actually test whether um, the uh, RAM is justifiable. Okay, so when you're doing video, ed uh, video editing, this is where you might want to upgrade your uh, RAM. Okay, let's see. Let's try this one. Ready, set, go. Okay, there we go. This is going to take a little while. So this is where. There, okay, so 56 seconds. So you can see in DaVinci Resolve when you press the uh, icon and by the time it load up to the projector, uh, project, project manager, you can see that it takes about 56 seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to install the, um, the, uh, the RAM. Okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, 4 gig RAM, so 4 gig and then another 4 gig that will give it 8 gig. So you'll see if uh, 8 gig RAM going to make a difference uh, for the Vinci Resolve. So for the um, Open Office, uh, I don't think you worry about if it's just Open Office or Office in general. I think 4 gig RAM is more than enough, but if you're going to open the um, uh, DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, uh, Adobe Premiere uh, video editing software, then this might be justifiable adding another 4 gig RAM. But let, let me prove that to you. I'm going to do that right now. Currently, it takes about 56 seconds to load up uh, DaVinci Resolve 12.3. So let's do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I have a 2 gig 1080p video file. I'm going to see if I can uh, measure the speed uh, in which DaVinci Resolve can transcode, how long it will take. Uh, so with the 4 gig RAM, 500 gig standard hard drive, okay? Then we're going to change the RAM and see how that's going to change. I'm going to change the SSD drive and see how that's going to change, okay? So right now it's just 4 gig RAM and uh, 500 gig standard hard drive, okay? So let's see if I can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of um, color grading. So let's just change that a little bit. Okay, there you go. So I did a bit of color grading and then I'm gonna transcode it with uh, QuickTime for MP4 file, 1080p. All right, that's good. And let's see, let's add that to the queue. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's good. And we'll just don't name it for now. Let's just start rendering. Okay, so see how long that's gonna take. Oops, I should start. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's that's another one or two seconds. Okay, so we'll add to that. <laughs> and 55 seconds all right so <laughs> two-thirds more to go look like hey it's been now 15 minutes and 15 seconds and it's almost 50 percent transcoded uh, uh, 11 minutes 50, 48 second 2 gig full HD video I think it's gonna take about 30 minutes to transcode actually so near the end we're now uh, Transcoded 90% and still 10 more percent to go and it's already uh, 28 minutes. This is a full HD uh, video. It's a 2 gig uh, video file and the length of this video is 11 minutes and 48 seconds. So it's taking 
I think it's going to take at least um, around 30 to 33 minutes to transcode. So almost um, three times uh, to transcode on this laptop. This is an i5 third generation uh, laptop, HP 8470W laptop. So it's a decent laptop. It's a bit old, third generation i5, but you know, uh, with 4 gig RAM, 500 gig standard hard drive, it's not too bad at all. So if you have like a video that's more than uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes for example, it's going to take about 30 minutes to transcode on the DaVinci Resolve 12.3. So what we're going to do next um, is after this video is finished, I'm going to try to upgrade it from 4 gig to 8 gig and then do this again this test again to see how long it takes so we're going to test uh, how long it um, the laptop boot up the windows 10 and then we're going to try uh, opening uh, open office uh, word um, writer and the uh, impress which is similar to powerpoint but more importantly we're going to try to test this on davinci resolve again is that a 4 gig, 8 gig RAM? And then uh, last uh, test would be installing the SSD drive to see if that's going to make a difference. And then going to do the transcoding again to test, test whether that's going to make a difference. So we're near the end, there's only about a minute left. As are 96%, so it's now 30 minutes of, uh, already it, it has taken. Let's see how it goes, okay? So, so far so good. So I'm learning myself uh, a lot from this uh, test. So to me, what it tells me is that a 4 gig RAM laptop, i5 third generation, using DaVinci Resolve uh, to transcode a 2 gig video file, 11 minutes and 48 seconds. It takes over 30 minutes, maybe 33 minutes to complete, almost three times. So that's a, a rule for me now, like if I have a laptop that's i5 third generation, and I'm trying to transcode it, it's going to take me three times uh, the length of the video that's full HD okay it's that seems to be um, the rule for this one now again uh, what I'll do is I'll install the four uh, extra four gig and see if that's gonna make a difference we're near the end it's 99% 31 minutes it's almost at five four three two one it's let's see until it tell me to stop it's done yes not yet until confirmation from the laptop itself I will stop there we go done okay so it took 31 minutes and 23 seconds not bad at all all right that's how long it takes so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to install a um, the uh, RAM the uh, 4 gig RAM and see if that's going to make a difference it's time to replace the RAM. Now one thing I like about the HP uh, Elite Notebook, it's very easy. You just click on that and pop open the back like so. And there we go. You have access to the hard drive and the, um, the RAM. Okay, there's two RAM slot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this one on the second slot. Now make sure that the two RAM 4 gig RAM are the same so you can see this is the same type um, 4 gig 4 gig and very importantly if you check it's a DDR3 uh, 12800S so exactly the same type and then if that's verified you can then put it in okay I'm gonna put that in there okay one and now make sure you snap it in properly oh. Make sure the other one is, yeah, it snapped in. Oops. Gotta make sure it's snapped in. It should be pretty straight. Okay, this one's not in. There we go. That's good. Now you can see uh, it snapped in properly and it's ready to go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Alright, let's get it going. Okay, so I just upgraded from 4 gig RAM to 8 gig RAM. Let's see how fast it is now for boot up time. 
I'm not sure if this is going to help with the uh, boot up time, but we'll test out right now. It's usually the SSD drive that actually makes it faster, but let's see. Okay, let's see how long it will take. Ready, set, go. Okay, that was 15 seconds. Okay, there we go. Took about 20 seconds, so a little bit faster. Um, I think it's maybe a little five seconds faster, which, you know what, the, in that case, I don't think it's worth upgrading if it's just for boot up time. It's uh, you know 20 seconds, um, but uh, the other one was 30 seconds, so uh, with four gig RAM versus eight gig RAM. So in terms of boot up time, this may not make a big difference. However, let's test the um, application itself. Okay, let me reset this. Let's first test the Open Office um, Word. Let's see. Ready? Word processor. Ready? Set? Go. Okay, again, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Okay, 14, 13 seconds. All right, so reset. Let's try um, Open Office Impress, which is similar to uh, Open uh, PowerPoint, sorry. Similar to PowerPoint. Ready, set, go. Yeah, that was pretty, okay. It's about the same, but three, four seconds, that's the same as four gig RAM. So when you talk about Open Office or uh, we're, uh, Window Office, I think it doesn't really make a big difference for startup when you're uh, opening up a file um, from the uh, beginning. It's adding 8 gig, like from 4 gig, is not going to make a big difference, okay? But what's going to make a difference is this. Okay, let me try it. We're not going to open Resolve, uh, DaVinci Resolve, and we'll see if that makes a difference. Last time, Adding a four four gig to eight gig RAM makes not much of a difference. Hmm, very strange. So the boot up time is the same. There we go. Okay, so fifty three second. So I don't think by adding an extra four gig RAM will make a difference for opening up uh, any application. Okay, let's do another test um, to verify. Is it? worth it to upgrade from 4 gig to 8 gig RAM by uh, transcoding okay we're gonna do transcoding now so I'm gonna transcode the file let's drag that same file as before okay there and let's do a little bit of uh, color grading okay like last time okay simple color grading and we're going to transcode exactly the same format format uh, mp4 full hd 24 frames per second all right okay see how long it's going to take ready set go Okay, we're now halfway. 50% uh, of the video has been transcoded. Uh, it's 13 minutes and 39 seconds, and we have about 15 minutes and 10 seconds to go. It seems like we are saving some time, but not a lot. Most likely, this video will take about uh, 28 29 minutes to transcode. Um, that would mean or translate to about three minutes saving. So if you upgrade from a four gig RAM to an eight gig RAM, you save uh, three minutes. I don't know that it's justifiable to upgrade. Some of you might think it is. Uh, for me, it may not be. So my conclusion is if you upgrade from four gig to eight gig RAM, if you're running a um, single application or even two application at the same time, uh, 
the uh, upgrading of 4 gig to 8 gig RAM may not help. However, if you're opening up the browsers, the office um, applications, and maybe uh, doing video editing at the same time, like two, three, four, five application at the same time, then the uh, RAM will definitely be helpful. But if you're running individual app like this one here, I'm doing DaVinci Resolve 12.3 and I'm transcoding and it does speed it up, but not by much. Uh, I save for a uh, 11 minutes and 48 second video, two gig uh, video file, full HD. It only uh, saved me about three minutes, it seems, of transcoding. So from 31 minutes and something to maybe 28. But I'm going to wait and see how long it's going to take. But so far, it seems to me that I'm only going to save about three minutes. Okay, now has been about 90% uh, transcoded. It's 25 minutes and 22 seconds. And we only have about 2 minutes and 55 seconds left. So yes, it seems to me that uh, it will take probably... 28 minute or so to complete uh, transcoding a 2 gig video uh, file that is 11 minutes and 48 seconds just like the previous video it's exactly the same one uh, I just upgraded from 4 gig to 8 gig so the 8 gig RAM on a DaVinci Resolve improve uh, the transcoding by 3 minutes um, that's about translate to 10% I don't know that again it's justifiable to upgrade uh, your uh, RAM if you're just doing one application like DaVinci Resolve uh, however like I mentioned before if you're doing two three um, application at the same time let's say you're transcoding and then you leave that um, on a hidden menu uh, and then you work on say a word processor or you're serving the web like two three application at the same time maybe you'll see that improvement definitely with uh, uh, RAM uh, increased but it seems to me if you're running on uh, DaVinci Resolve on its own single application increasing the RAM doesn't help much it seems like only 10% improvement saving about 3 minutes uh, time from 31 minutes to 28 minutes so again it's up to you to decide whether increasing a RAM from 4 to 8 gig helps if you're doing multiple application, definitely when you're doing single or two application at the same time, this may not improve that much. So what I'm going to do next, um, I'll let this uh, video finish transcoding. What I'll do next uh, is I'm going to change the standard hard drive to an SSD hard drive. And I have a feeling this will increase or improve the performance. But I, I don't know for sure because I thought the RAM would increase the performance uh, by at least 50% but it doesn't seem like that okay it seems like only when you're loading multiple application then you'll see that uh, improvement but if you're doing single application or two application running it seems like 4 gig to 4 8 gig RAM doesn't help uh, that much up to 10% is improved but not more than that all right so you're one of those person who like to run a lot of applications at the same time then do upgrade from 4 to 8 gig but if you're like me who runs one or two applications at the same time then this may not be helpful see that's something i i learned now just now uh, because i had this bias thinking that by increasing the 4 gig to 8 gig ram that will improve um, uh, video rendering rendering and um, improve the uh, startup boot up time and even startup uh, application but that's not the case right however my feeling is that if I do uh, add the SSD drive this will improve so let's do that it's almost done we're 99% now 28 uh, minutes we're getting there yeah three two one there we go it's done uh, press there we go it's done now so yeah it's already with 4 gig RAM it was 31 minutes and 17 seconds I believe uh, that was the time for that one so we do save almost three minutes worth of um, um, transcoding not a lot about 10% again if that's worth, worth it for you then do it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to now switch over to this SSD drive replace it from the uh, standard and see what it will get out of that okay so let's upgrade the hard drive now hard drive is a bit harder to do because 
You see, you have information on this uh, original standard hard drive and you want to transfer the information to this SSD drive. You cannot just copy file into it. So I have a uh, special um, device called the um, um, SSD to hard drive uh, replicator or hard drive replicator you have the source and the target now as long as the um, the file or this window system is not too complicated like what I mean by not too complicated is that it's, it's on one uh, directory so one C drive and then there's no password on it I think you can then copy from one to another no problem okay so keep that in mind if you have a password on it it won't copy well in fact it might not work if it has more than one uh, section of the drive as you have a, a C and a D drive it may not work properly you probably need a special software to uh, copy or replicate the exact duplicate on the hard drive to SSD drive okay but thank goodness I kept it simple I didn't have any uh, password on that drive and uh, it only have one uh, C drive that I, I, need, I, I don't need to worry about okay let's do that right now there we go this one. Okay, this one I can just put it back. Okay. All right, so the hard drive is here. We need to remove it now. Okay, take the two screw out. There we go. Okay, so this is the the standard 500 gig drive it's a yeah it's a oh sorry I was wrong it's actually 7200 rpm not 5400 or 200 rpm okay so this is a bit faster Atashi uh, hard drive so it's actually quite good um, we'll see how it, how much it improves so it's, this is actually a very fast um, hard drive it's a 7200 rpm not 5 thousand two hundred four hundred rpm so I don't know how much improvement that would do so let's see we'll see how it goes so what you want to do let's move it to this um, replicator so what I have to do is I have to put the source in here okay this is the source uh, I might have to remove the screw here yeah I might have to remove the two screw here to get into there so let's do that okay so I removed the, uh, the hard drive cover and now we have this uh, bare bone hard drive so we're gonna do that right now and put the sources so this is the uh, original uh, standard hard drive that was on the laptop we're gonna now put in here that's the source there we go and then this is the one that we're gonna replicate into this is the uh, SSD uh, Western Digital Blue SSD Drive. Let's see. Like that. Okay, that's good. Now, there is a special... Now, this, this brand, this is called Oracle. Leading uh, technology, that's the brand. Anyway, Oracle. That's uh, their hard drive replicator. So you have the source, which is the original hard drive and then the target which in this case is SSD now what you want to do is you want to switch it to cloning so there's this cloning let's turn it on did I plug it in? yeah there we go so you can see the light there okay then what you want to do and you want to press start there's a button here let's press start so press start and you can see the light is flashing and here it's doing that it's replicating now but once it's done it will flash it will make sound and tell me that it's completed okay we're near the end we're like uh, close to 100 percent as the uh, original hard drive is copying to the SSD drive we're almost there probably another the original uh, HD hard drive or HDD standard hard drive 
now we replace it with the S SD hard drive, the 500 gig. This was 500 gig. Now we replace it with 500 gig. I was using this Oracle uh, hard drive duplicator. Works pretty good. Took about almost an hour to replicate, but there it is. This is the disc. So I just installed the SSD hard drive onto this computer. It now has 8 gig RAM SSD hard drive. Now I noticed that they in increasing the RAM didn't uh, uh, improve the boot up time that much. Let's see if SSD drive can do that, improve the boot up time. And see how SSD plus increasing the RAM improve the performance of this laptop. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Let's see. Oops, it's true. Okay, sorry. We'll add a, a second to that, okay? Ooh, wow, that's fast. Okay, so it's um, 13, 14 seconds. That's amazing. Oh man, that increased by double, yes. Definitely double the uh, the time. Without the, the SSD, it's almost 30 seconds. With SSD, uh, improved almost, yeah, two and a half time actually. Or you could say almost, well, definitely over two times in terms of um, its speed. Amazing. So the uh, RAM didn't improve the boot up time, but it's SSD drive that in improved the uh, boot up time. I can tell the difference. Okay, we're now at 52% transcoded. We're more than halfway. And it only take us uh, 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Seems like um, now we are near the end. We're 90% transcoded. The video uh, two gig video file. The uh, time is now 22 minutes and 28 seconds and we only have 3 minutes to go. 91% is transcoded on a um, uh, full HD 2 gig video file is 11 minute and 48 second video file. So how much time did we save by uh, upgrading the SSD drive and adding the 4 extra 4 gig RAM. Well, adding 4 gig RAM improved by 3 minutes and then adding the SSD drive improved by another around 3 minutes. So you're saving uh, about 6 minutes on a uh, 31 minute clips. So you uh, reduce the time down to only 25-26 minutes of transcoding instead of 31 minutes. So improvement almost uh, I think 17-18% which isn't bad. Um, you're saving close to 20% uh, uh, efficiency. So yes, it does help if you increase your uh, RAM um, and then increase, uh, improve or upgrade your hard drive to an SSD, SSD drive. Now what what uh, SSD drive uh, does the best is actually um, uh, starting up your computer. It's much faster. I see a double uh, sp in speed. But in terms of transcoding like a video file like this one, improvement is only about 8 to 10 percent. So altogether you're looking at um, uh, increasing your RAM and your SSD improvement is between 17 18 percent improvement. So very good. I, I would, uh, yeah, I would upgrade my um, computer to SSD drive and increase the RAM from 4 to 8. Now I would probably not increase it any further if unless of course if I'm working with more than three or four applications at the same time then I might go from 8 gig uh, RAM to maybe 12 or even 16 gig RAM if I'm doing like eight or nine applications at the same time but then you know you're you're actually um, using a lot of your C CPU power as well so it might not be uh, balanced out so I think 8 gig RAM is about right. 12 gig RAM, uh, I think it's more than I think more than adequate. I think 16 may be overkilling it, unless you have a very fast um, quad core or hexa core computer. All right, let me conclude at the end. Once this is completely transcoded, we're now 98%.
399 percent five four three two one uh, it's done okay so it took 25 minutes and 45 seconds so that's uh, an improvement of more than two minutes from previous um, setting so last time I had um, 8 gig RAM with a regular hard drive and it was 28 minutes and something and now it's 25 minutes and 45 seconds uh, previously originally this laptop was 4 gig RAM and it transcoded about 31 minutes and something and went from 31 minutes something to 28 minutes something to 25 minutes and 45 seconds so there's definitely an inc uh, increase in efficiency I calculate to be around uh, 18% close to 18% anyway uh, we save time on so from 31 minutes something to 25 minutes and 45 seconds which is pretty good it's not you know it's not like drastic but definitely very helpful all right so let me conclude right now what I just discussed and then increasing your RAM from 4 gig to 8 gig RAM or from um, a standard hard drive to SSD drive other option you could do is uh, change the setting of your software so for example if you're running Windows 10 make sure you turn off Cortana so search for Cortana uh, Cortana and search setting and you'll see that I turn it all off you see that I turn all the Cortana setting off and I think that will improve the system a little bit and then the next thing you want to do is go to the system advanced setting okay I'm search for the system and then under system there's advanced system setting there click on that and what you want to do is you see this uh, menu here say performance visual effects and so on click on setting there and now right now I had it on uh, adjust for best performance that's what you want previously and most of the setting on your um, laptop will put to adjust for best appearance or you'll go let the computer choose or let Windows choose the best for my computer if you want it um, a bit faster just go for adjust for best performance click on that and notice all the uh, check mark on the box is all gone and now you apply and your computer should be a little bit faster okay so those are some of the helpful hints that you want to do for your laptop in addition there's a lot of uh, you know when you buy your laptops first time there are a lot of uh, what we call bloatware they put in a lot of um, software in there that is not needed uh, you want to get rid of as much as you can and only load up the essential software for example here I notice you'll notice that uh, I have um, uh, Firefox browser, Blender, um, OpenOffice, and DaVinci Resolve. So those are the main applications that I use and that's the only application that will put on my laptop uh, to you know to make the laptop more efficient and I try not to and I try not to anyway of uh, add on other miscellaneous uh, application that might slow down my system especially uh, application that runs in the background which will slow down your system as well so those are some of the things that you might want to do to improve the performance of your laptop now over time your laptop maybe get slower and slower even with all the upgrades that you did like say you add an extra RAM or uh, SSD drive and you notice it's still slow um, the best thing is uh, you might want to restart the whole thing so maybe maybe you go to the window uh, 10 setting and then under um, let me see if I go to setting and type in uh, reset okay uh, reset yeah so reset this PC you do that you click on that and this is the last option you want to do so uh, now make sure you back up all your important file first okay so make sure you do that you must do that first because it will wipe up all your your stuff that you had um, on your computer and your hard drive and all that okay so before you do that back up everything every kind of uh, important file that you have back that up and then you can do this so what you do is you go to um, uh, get started I'm not gonna do that now um, you can check other videos on how to reset this uh, laptop this is very useful if you have Windows 10 it does that quite uh, well um, you click on um, get started and it will uh, prompt you to do uh, you know all these um, instructions so you just follow through that 
and then you get a brand new um, Windows 10 uh, and it's default and then you start to uh, download or um, um, add your application that you wanted onto the new Windows 10 and that's will definitely improve your um, performance for sure because it's all fresh from the beginning. Alright, let's summarize what I just did. So basically we improved the RAM from 4 gig to 8 gig RAM. We noticed an improvement. Not necessarily the uh, boot up time. Uh, boot up time only save a few seconds but uh, what I noticed most was the uh, transcoding of uh, full HD video file that was 2 gig size. It was 11 minutes and 48 second video full HD and uh, we transcode that it took with 4 gig RAM it took four, 31 minutes uh, maybe a little bit more than that but uh, when we add an extra 4 gig RAM it went down to 28 minutes and something so you're saving almost 3 minutes and that's about 10% uh, time saving and then uh, now the, the uh, laptop that I had was an i5 third generation um, HP computer it was a, a 8470W workstation. So the profile of this laptop is not uh, that bad at all. And then um, the next thing I did was I changed a standard mechanical hard drive. It was a 7200 RPM hard drive, which is pretty fast, but I changed it to um, Western Digital uh, SSD drive. And um, an improvement also. Uh, in the boot up time definitely you can see in that boot up time increased almost double so it went from like um, 28 second or something like that uh, with the regular um, mechanical drive and then you add the SSD drive it went to 14 a second so definitely see a double um, increase in terms of speed and same thing with when you're loading up application you notice that when you click on it you see definitely a, a very fast uh, upload um, startup it was almost double the speed as well and then when I transcoded the um, DaVinci Resolve um, HD full HD video file the 2 gig video file um, it was only it only took about 25 minutes and 45 seconds so it went from uh, 28 minutes something to 25 minutes and 45 seconds so again another improvement of two and a half to three minutes so altogether when you add in the um, the RAM from 4 to 8 gig RAM and you change the standard hard drive to an SSD drive you improve by 18 percent on your laptop performance okay I'm using i5 third generation so I see that improvement and then I also show you that uh, if you change the Windows, Windows settings, like uh, turn off the Cortana uh, setting, right, uh, you might improve that as well. And I also show you that you can, um, uh, instead of uh, you know, having everything uh, animated, turn it to, go to the advanced setting and just turn that off and just have it best performance setting. And uh, it will work a little bit more smoothly. In addition, I told you to just load up the essential application. Try to avoid um, uh, having all these bloat, bloatware, like extra applications that you don't need. Get rid of it, especially those that run in the background. Do that, and you'll be uh, you'll see a, a definite performance in your laptop. And then now, if you did all those things and you still see that it's lagging, uh, the last resort, and I told you, is to actually reset the whole. Uh, laptop with the Windows 10 it's very easy. You just go to you type in um, uh, go to a setting and type in um, reset PC or something like that, and then uh, that phrase, and then you'll see uh, a choice where you can reset the whole thing. The only thing is make sure, and this is the last resort, right? Make sure that you back up all the essential files so that you don't lose it. Because once you do the reset PC, you'll lose everything. So that will be the last resort to that. And then when you do that, you definitely see a increased performance for sure because everything is new everything is fresh uh, there is no background um, uh, application right um, and now if you reload the default back to its normal some of the manufacturing company may have the bloatware installed as well so you want to get rid of that right up front and then uh, you have a just a very uh, lean operating system Windows 10 all right so that's how you go about improving your laptop hopefully that's helpful and uh, you can see the uh, the before and after thanks for watching educatetube.com